All right, right here, I am um, sketching in the head and uh, shoulders. And I apologize for the camera angle, but you do what you gotta do with what you got. And here I'm trying to get the angle of the eyes to his nose correctly. That's why I was using the ruler. And I'm trying to measure between the reference photo and um, the picture using the proportional divider. Which I completely ignored most of those marks anyway. <laughs> So I'm trying to get his eyes in, get some of the shading in, um, see if I like how things are being placed. And so I'm going to do this for a, a while. And that was trying to put an eye width between both the eyes. Because that's something I notice I have trouble with is pro distance and proportion. Um, my depth perception isn't what it used to be and I almost failed a depth perception test when I got my eyes checked so thankfully my right eye is pretty normal with that um, here you see me um, drawing in the lips and um, shading those in and I think he was kind of sucking on the bottom lip so that's why it's smaller uh, it's not like you know fooled out and so here I'm shading in the eyes darkening those so now they're pretty much that's they're there um, I'm using charcoal pencils uh, generals charcoal pencils I have the soft medium and the hard and I have an extra soft uh, and I'm also using the number two um, pencil just regular number two pencils if you want to know the name is the um, from Target, the Dixon Ticonderogas, I have those in black, soft black, and the um, the standard yellow pencils. So now I'm doing a little bit more shading. I'm using my tortillion or smudge stick to um, spread some of the um, charcoal around and the pencil around. And so now that I got the eyes, nose, and mouth kind of where I want them. I'm trying to start blocking in some of the other areas around his face. Um, the reference photo I had was from a screen capture from a video that Tyler did. So um, I asked him for a better picture. I didn't get one. So I threatened to cyborg him. So, hey. <laughs> so, um, so I'm trying to get his face and his and his little and his beard, uh, and that was kind of hard. You'll see me erasing and redoing that part a couple of times. Um, it's not perfect because, like I said, um, I've just recently returning back to art. Um, I've been doing it off and on for like the last three years. And I'm taking classes now, and I'm really enjoying it and having fun uh, with the YouTube community of artists. So, you, like I said, you saw me erasing and trying to get it so that it looks more like Tyler. So, um, <clears throat> I say um a lot. I apologize. It's not that I don't have anything to say. It's just that I'm pausing. <laughs> so, I was using a brush to remove some of the pencil erasings. It's just a regular old paint brush for, that I use when we, when we paint around my house doing trim and stuff. And uh, so here I'm head adding the headphones that he had on that day, and I'm using the uh, soft black, uh, I think it's extra soft, black charcoal pencil, and, uh, and it's also a General's charcoal pencil. So once I got the headphones on, it, it was starting to, to look more like the reference photo. And um, it also helped me with some of my um, my distance and everything for uh, his his facial proportions. So I'm using the brush again to remove any um, pencil shavings, and also sp to spread around some of the charcoal. And you're going to see me use the brush several times in this video. 
So I'm trying to, to get his hair in now. Um, figuring out where it goes. And then I'm going to be using the smudge stick and my new eraser a lot. I'm smudging the charcoal and the pencil. Uh, the pencil that I was using to get that real dark uh, pencil up at top was actually my number six soft pencil um, and I was using that smudge stick to spread that around because I'm going to be using my kneaded eraser to pull color off of the smudged areas because he's a very light blonde and so I'm going to try and give the illusion of blonde hair by trying to pull um, color off with the kneaded eraser um, to try and get that in and then I'll just go in um, with my pencils later on see right there I'm using the number 6B soft uh, pencils and as you can see you can get really dark really really dark with those pencils I also have 8B and 9B but I think 9B is overkill uh, but it was only like you know they're on sale at Jerry so I went ahead and got one just to play with it and you will get a kind of sheen with the, the graphite by you know pressing it into the paper that far um, so here you see me going in again with the kneaded eraser, pulling color out, and I'll do this for a while with the pencil, the smudge stick, the charcoal, the kneaded eraser, um, just to try and get hair on on him. Okay, and so I'm playing around with some of the lines again, which in retrospect you would say, well, why would you do this if you were going to put stuff over anyway? It's so you'll have a guideline where to put things, so you'll have a better idea of how the face is shaped and, and how the metal is going to wrap around that face and, and the head and how the, where the hair is going to be at. And it's, now I'm putting in the um, cyborg elements. I've put in the headband. I'm trying to make them look metallic. I'm using, now I'm using the smudge stick and the number 6B. Um, pencil and that's a number two pencil right there and I'm just going in with that and doing line work um, and just a little bit of, sh of shadowing up under the, the metal parts and I've left areas to put in uh, cybernetic elements later Um, next video I will try and change the angle of the camera for you guys because I have big hands so <laughs> it kind of blocks stuff a lot and here I think I got a bit distracted looking for something I don't remember what <laughs> so I'm um, adding some more stuff now I'm starting to add in some of the the markings and stuff to the face plate and that's charcoal pencil <coughs> Excuse. So I'm adding his uh, one of the larger parts to his face mask, and uh, I want to say that when I was drawing this, it's not a breathing apparatus, but I want to say that it is the way that it's sort of like a I don't know. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's kind of like a filtration system and um, information system. Um, it, it transfers energy, I mean information between his body and his, his cybernetic units in his brain and face. Um, so it's kind of like some type of, of control unit, I will say. And uh, so now I'm doing more work up towards his uh, his eyes. I'm adding in implants up around his eyes and I'm using a, a mechanical pencil. It's just a regular old number two mechanical pencil. Um, you can get it anywhere. And I'm going to smudge a little bit. Okay. And so I'm doing some um, little uh, lines, conduits up along his other eye as you can see and then I'm going to get what some people might say is a little gross but I'm actually going to draw wiring going into his eye I mean he is a cyborg <laughs> and so then I'm going to also have wiring coming out that's like laid under the skin as you can see 
and I'm going to have wiring that's going to be going in from one implant over the bridge of the nose under the skin to another part of his face. So now I'm using a, a sheet to protect the drawing as I work on other parts. Um, I've gotten my pencil holder out because I, I do have big hands and that number six pencil broke. So I'm using a, a lead holder or a pencil holder that you can use when your pencils get, get short. I'm smudging with a Q-tip right now. It's one of the things I like to smudge with. Um, Q-tips, tortillions, um, the makeup remover pads that um, ladies like to use to remove makeup. I like using those to smudge with. Cotton balls as well are, are good to use when you're smudging. So, so now I'm drawing in some more cybernetic elements in that area and that's the part that's like under his skin the two that goes under his skin and so now I'm drawing some more um, cybernetic lines along his face and um, there's a little capacitor there that's connecting a couple of places together um, s smudging some more working on the headband trying to make it look more like brushed a uh, dark brushed metal uh, and now I think I'm getting ready to work on Oh yeah, my kneaded eraser, I was cleaning it. <laughs> it absorbs a lot, your kneaded eraser. Now, for a little tip, if you notice that your kneaded eraser is getting super thick and you can hardly pull it and it's snapping and it's brittle, it's time to replace it. That's that, And it takes a while for one to get that way. That means it's eaten as much as it can. Okay, so I tried to do a Google Hangout. No one showed up. <laughs> so I wanted to finish this doing a Google Hangout so I can answer any questions anybody had and um, I think my son came in and asked me something so so once again I'm using my paper to protect my drawing and I'm adding more cybernetic elements to the areas on his face um, and the picture is in reverse uh, because I didn't change the camera so that it would show properly so I'm just going over make, making some lines and um <coughs> excuse me I was checking the point because um I wasn't using a very sharp point on that uh, pencil because I wanted broad lines I didn't want you know razor sharp lines and so now I'm going in and I'm shading shading his um filtration slash data transfer apparatus and I'm going in and putting the shading on that now I'm going to smudge it with my q-tip I'm going to go in and I'm going to darken the lines back Uh, Cox cable has been very sucky lately in this area, so I got disconnected uh, quite a few times. Okay, so you can see I'm darkening the lines again as I smudged again. And I, I did this a couple of times until I got the look that I wanted. And now I'm darkening one of the cracks in his um, data exchange apparatus or tra or filtration and I added some screws over onto the shoulder area um, and as you notice the body is not proportional to the headpiece because when I was doing this I started thinking about those old um, X-Men cartoons uh, you know where they had the um, the guys the guys from out of space that were in control of everything. I can't think of it in the Shi'ar or something. But the, the guys that were in charge of time. And remember how their heads had, had these real big giant heads and these little bodies. So that's what I started thinking about. So that's why it's not proportional. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So but it was this was this drawing was a lot of fun. And it didn't take long. I think I worked on this for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Um and uh, because it was just going really fast, 
uh, I had on some good music and uh, headphones, and I was like, you know, zoned, and I was trying to to draw more quickly and not think about stuff so much while I was drawing. And um, so I did that arm over there, and I'm gonna try and do the one on the other side, and then do like a little bit of shading as well. Originally, this video, all the videos, the little clip segments I did, they probably total um, 45 to 50 minutes uh, recorded tape, and I've just sped it up to a 15-minute video. So I hope you guys like the video. Um, rate, subscribe. Feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. And I am not an expert. I am now taking art classes. And if I can, you know, do this, then anyone can do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, have a good day.